Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to show you how to do a lovely, wonderful, warming, soupy thing, scotch broth. So before we start, a shout out to a couple of people who've requested this recipe. Uh, first one was Ian King, uh, about three months ago, who wanted more Scottish recipes, maybe Scotch broth, and probably thought I'd forgotten about him. I haven't. I'll get round to every request eventually, if I can. And also to John Rouleau, who lives in New Zealand and bemoans the fact that you can't get Baxter's soup there. Well, you don't want Baxter's anyway. You want this. It's proper dare I say it, peasant food. It's made, you know, not a real fixed recipe. It's made from what you've got on your farm. You've got your sheep, you've got your barley, you've got your root vegetables, because you can't grow an aubergine in Scotland, that's for sure. And uh, it's very warming and hearty. And I didn't think I'd get around to it this winter, because really it is a winter dish. And uh, however, it turns out we're nearly at the end of April and winter has come back. We had snow yesterday and today, and I need this broth inside me, so I'm gonna make it. It's quite easy to do, let's do it. So ingredients for the Scotch broth looking a bit like an old master painting, isn't that great? <laughs> a load of vegetables, meat, barley. Root vegetables are always included, so we've got uh, a swede, a parsnip, a carrot, two carrots in fact. We've also got a leek, an onion, and a big old handful of parsley, big old big generous handful of barley, and a teaspoon of white pepper, and inevitably some salt, and some lamb. It has to be lamb. And the cheaper and scraggier and fattier, the better. This is uh, breast of lamb, uh, but from Tesco's, and look at what they've done here. <laughs> they've rolled it up so it looks like you might think you get a nice edible roast out of that. You won't unless you use some transglutaminase to stick it together, which most people don't have. I do, but I'm not doing that. I'm going to unroll that and see what we've got. Anyway, the point is you've got quite a lot of fat to meat ratio, and that's essential. We'll also need a bucket full of water. So the first thing I'm going to do with this is get the string off so we can see what we've actually got. Then we'll unroll it. Oh yeah, oh that's proper, proper, <laughs> proper scrag. Do you know what, there's, there's, there's so much trickery goes on in supermarket butchery. That's, that's really quite outrageous presenting that as a roast. But anyway, didn't fool me. So I'll just chop this into big chunks. We'll chop it into smaller chunks later and throw it into a big pan full of water. And what we'll do then is bring it to the boil and let it simmer for about 15 minutes all on its own, during which time a lot of scum should rise to the surface and we'll need to skim it off. So that's easier to do if you haven't got other things in the way. So as predicted, lots of yucky scum. So we'll just get rid of that and then we'll throw in the prepared vegetables. So while the meat is beginning to cook, we'll just prep all the rest of the vegetables, which means topping, tailing, peeling, most of these things. And with the amazing voice activated knife, chop, 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 chop. Okay, you get the idea. So there we go, after our chop, 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 chopity chop, a load of vegetables to go in the broth and a load of peelings and things to go in the compost. And also I've kept the top end of the leek because I'm gonna slice that finely and chuck it in near the end to give it color. Otherwise it does actually look like brown sludge. <laughs> so these go in the pan with the meat. Here we go. God, there's a lot. This will be Oh, so tasty. Uh, I'm going to add a bit more water, then I'll bring it to the boil, take it down to a simmer, cover it, and let it bubble away for, oh, at least an hour. Then we'll see how tender the meat is. Okay, so we've got a good boil going on there, and add the pepper, and about half of the chopped parsley. And I'll slap a lid on this. I'll come back in an hour and see how we're getting on. Okay, it's had an hour, so now I'm gonna fish out the chunks of meat and we're gonna chop those down smaller. I suppose you could do that right at the start, but I've always done it this way. <laughs> now we'll add the barley. 
and the last bit of the leek which I've chopped into slices and we put those in at the end so they don't disintegrate completely they do actually give it a bit of colour so you need to chop the lamb into chunks or shreds not really cubes uh, it's it's more like pulled lamb actually and I've just remembered why I do it this way it's because quite often your breast of lamb will be on the bone and it's easier to get the bones out when it's pretty much cooked okay now we'll put the meat back into the broth and I think I'm gonna add a spot more water okay that's more water and I'm gonna have a taste and as you might expect that needs salt mm-hmm lovely right so lid back on and let that simmer for another half hour and then it's pretty much done right I reckon this is ready so you need this straight away or better leave it till tomorrow because then it'll be really fabulous okay there it is all that needs is a big old sprinkle of chopped parsley and those those leeks I put in near the end for colour I don't know why they went <laughs> they're in there somewhere after a long day chasing sheep around a field this is exactly what you want and that's that hope you enjoyed it now please share it with all your friends on social media subscribe to this channel follow us on Facebook Twitter Pinterest and don't forget the amazing website that has all the details of all the recipes and thank you for watching come back soon